It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. The Wall Street Journal has called him perhaps the most powerful journalist in America. George Wild has been part of the Washington political scene for over 50 years, having won a Pulitzer Prize for commentary in 1977. He is also the author of several books, three of them on baseball, as he is a Chicago Cubs fan. Born May 4th, 1941, in Champaign, Illinois, Wild, the son of a philosophy professor, studied politics and economics while at Oxford, where he received a bachelor's degree. Years later, he taught political philosophy at the James Madison College of Michigan State University and at the University of Toronto. Initially left-wing in his political views, he shifted to the right during his studies at Oxford, especially after visiting communist-controlled East Berlin in the mid-1960s. From 1970 to 1972, he served on the staff of Republican Senator Gordon Allott of Colorado. And from 1972 to 1978, he served as an editor for the National Review. He joined the Washington Post Writers Group in 1974, writing as indicated by Weekly Column, which became widely circulated among newspapers across the country and continues today. As of December 2014, his column is indicated to about 450 newspapers. In 1976, he became a contributing editor for Newsweek, writing a bi-weekly back page column until 2011. Also during the 70s, he began appearing as a panelist on NBC's Meet the Press. But in 1981, ABC hired him as a commentator for their new Sunday talk show, This Week with David Brinkley. Concurrently, he was a panelist on a Grotsky and Company until 1984. It was at ABC that Will would become a mainstay of this week, posing questions to newsmakers and taking part in roundtable discussions. He briefly delivered end-of-the-show commentaries reminiscent of the Brinkley era. In 2013, Will left ABC after almost 32 years, joining Fox News in the process. In the summer of 2016, he announced he would terminate his affiliation with the Republican Party because of his hostility toward then-presidential candidate Donald Trump. In January 2017, Fox decided not to renew his contract. Two months later, Will made a return appearance on Meet the Press, then joined NBC full-time as a political analyst. In 2020, he received the Ernie Pyle Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Society for Newspaper Columnists in partnership with the Society of Professional Journalists. His other honors include a Clarion Award from the Women of Communications in 1991 and the Order of Lincoln Award, the highest honor bestowed by the State of Illinois by the Lincoln Academy of Illinois in 2019. Among the cultural depictions of George Weld, he has been spoofed by Dana Carvey on Saturday Night Live and on an episode of The Simpsons as William F. George, judging the Miss America pageant. Will has three children, Victoria, Jeffrey, and Jonathan, with his first wife, Madeline. Jonathan, the eldest child, was born 1972 with Down syndrome, which Will has written about in his column on occasion. In 1989, he and Madeline divorced after 22 years of marriage. In 1991, Will married Mari Massing. They have one child, a son named David. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.